All right, so the body's off the frame. Did that yesterday, it was a Saturday evening. It took about 20 minutes to make the transfer and a lot of prep work beforehand. What I did is I stripped the interior. I broke all the body bolts loose and uh, completely removed them. So the body mount locations, if you have a radiator in the car, I had all my radiator stuff out since the front end's been wrecked. You got holes here where that mounts to. I pull those out. Gotta have your steering wheel out, your emergency brake cable, all those things disconnected. Your second set of body mounts is right here. These are all 5 8 bolts. And make sure you leave the shims where they uh, were. You don't want to mess that up. The third one back is just aft of the door. And you can get to this uh, from the wheel well. There's a small panel with four, uh, I think they're 5 16 bolts in there. Just take those bolts off, pull the panel off, and you'll see that bolt there. And the rear bolt is on the inside of the car. The uh, nut plate side is anyways. And the bolt is on the outside. You can see it back there in the uh, rear wheel well area. So I took the bumpers off. Most of the bolts broke. So I didn't take these brackets off, even though the body actually comes underneath them. So when we picked it up, fiberglass is pretty flexible. So we just slowly moved the body back as far as we could and just pulled on it, pulled it right out. Uh, it was just me and another guy that pulled it. It went really well. I didn't use the Corvette body lift straps. I just went to Home Depot and bought some ratcheting uh, straps. I think they're rated for 1,500 pounds or so. It's these orange ones here. So what I did is I wrapped a rag around this part here and just... Uh, Put that hook underneath the frame of the body right here the back of the door and then just below the vent you got a channel there you just hook it on that so put some tape across it to make sure it wouldn't move when we picked it up um, so I had six of those or four main ones and I put one uh, one other one in the front one in the back to keep it level and it worked out really well I built this dolly from the plans that are online, easy to find, just do a search for them. The plan suggests using 4x4s and some um, half inch bolts and all these things. I just used 2x4s and those SPAC screws, they're self drilling so I cut all my wood and I built this up, it probably took me 30 minutes to build, it was really easy to do. Um, before I built it, before I finished it, I made sure that my engine hoist would fit under this. Now normally, you're going to have problems uh, with the plans that are online. I don't think it's tall enough. So I used some 2x4s and just blocked it up. And these wheels are 4 inch wheels from Harbor Freight. Um, it rolls really well on this, despite how small the wheels are. And I put some eye eye bolts down, tied my mounts through there, that worked really well. So it sits on there good. And I think that's about all I got. Oh, the front board here. On the plans there's a board that goes across right here. And usually your radiator bracket sits on that. I had to remove that board because this the body here was in the way. Also the same thing in the back. And the top board here that goes across, I had to move it down because it was hitting this here. Other than that though, it worked really well. Here's the hoist we used. Just a Harbor Freight hoist I rented from a local guy for five bucks a week, not bad. And uh, a lot of chassis work to do now, but you know, I'm pulling the body. I'm not a car mechanic or anything. I do work on airplanes though, so I can do mechanical stuff pretty easily. And honestly, if you have the tools and the space, I would pull the body every time. Just so much better when you can get to all this. It makes working the frame easier. It'll make putting in a new engine and transmission and exhaust easier. 
building up suspension, it'll all be a lot simpler. Plus you can do it right and then you don't have to worry about it later on down the road. So that's it. Don't want to make this video any longer. Thanks for watching guys.